The Olympic Sharks answered their critics in emphatic fashion last Sunday with a 6-2 thumping of the Melbourne Knights. Egg was certainly left on the faces of those who said the Sharks couldn't score goals as the floodgates opened at a rain-soaked Toyota Park. Tommy Pondeliak, the Sharks in front. We've had a bit of trouble in the last couple of weeks putting, putting goals away, like I said, but um, like you said, the quality of the goals were, were uh, top-notch tonight and uh, it's, it's all credit to the boys. I mean, we practice the training and you just hope that, you know, in one game it all comes together and I just hope that we haven't shown all our cards tonight. The Sharks have now progressed to the minor semi-final and have reproduced an identical lineup that includes Tommy Pondelyak, Ante Milicic, Andy Packer, Jeremy Harris and replacement Greg Owens, who all scored goals last week. Their opponents and traditional rivals South Melbourne have been equally impressive. Last week they disposed of Brisbane 2-1 at Ballymore following their 2-0 win at Bob Jane Stadium the week before. South Melbourne have only made one change as Robert Liparotti makes way for Steve Panopoulos despite his fine performance last week. South Melbourne's strength is definitely up front but captain Paul Trimboli doesn't underestimate the value of his goalkeeper Michael Petkovic who pulled off two great saves last week. It's funny because as a player with him, you come to expect that sort of thing. You almost get disappointed when he gets beaten. You go, come on, Pekka, what are you doing? You know? But, uh, yeah, the back line and him especially have been outstanding and uh, really gives us a good platform. It lets players like myself, Bootsy, and, you know, we can go and attack with a bit of confidence that uh, if we do turn it over, we've got a pretty good bunch behind us. Petkovic will need to be at his goal-saving best because the loser of this match bows out. Now let's cross to Marconi Stadium where your commentators are Mike Cockrell, Paul Wade and Craig Foster. Seven goals in his last six matches for South Melbourne. Here goes Pondeliak down the right-hand side. Lindsay Wilson stretches his leg, looks up. Who's in the middle? Arriving late was Packer. Halpin has the ball in the corner. Juric has moved forward in the middle. And Ante Juric is free here. And that goes down as a chance for the sweeper. A wry smile from Ante Juric. Probably as surprised as everyone else at the ball. Made its way through. No one attacking it in the middle. And Juric, unmarked, might well have done better. Again, one out. Somehow gets past the Amita. Still going, Lindsay Wilson. It's a ball in the middle. Arriving late. Here's an opportunity. Tommy Pondeliak. The Sharks in front. Some questions being asked in that South Melbourne defence. And the Olympic Sharks fans here in ecstasy. They're in absolute ecstasy. And the reason is a 10-minute strike. I've seen him score some goals in his time, and there's another example of it. He comes from so far back in midfield, so he's not even in the picture on the left-hand side of that shot. He will come late, he will come fast. He's just been left alone, and he's put the ball in the back of the net. There he comes, takes one touch, left foot, bang! And the Olympic Sharks, Paul Wade, have tried so many different combinations in attack. And it's probably significant that when the chips are down, this is the combination which Gary Phillips feels is the best one for his team. Well, he works hard, doesn't he, Jeremy Harris? There's no doubt about that. And in fact, he loves playing. Well brought down by Wilson. Gets inside. Diamuchis a little too easily. Here's Pondeliak. Touched on by Milicic. And an awkward bounce far side for Packer, but the width of Olympic is causing problems for South Melbourne. Packer down the left, Wilson down the right, and at the moment South Melbourne are not coping. Milicic. Harris. Always worth a try, given the condition of the goal mount. Harris. And Halpert beaten to the punch by Murdocker. He now comes away with the ball. All of a sudden, it's three on three for South Melbourne. But superb recovery there from Troy Halpert doing the hard yards for his team. Podliak. It's a good spell for the Sharks. Handball, surely against Durakovic. 
I remember Durakovic, a seasoned campaigner, as you would expect, protesting the decision, but he really doesn't have any reason to gripe. Stopping the progress of the ball there, Mehmet Durakovic. And it's a free kick to Olympic. Melbourne goes for the corner. And that not too far away, splendid effort there from Troy Halpin. He's come closer and closer and closer over recent weeks to a goal. Perhaps a warning shot this for South Melbourne. Halpin, courage plus from Troy Halpin. And he comes away with the ball as well. And in the end, the referee says that's the free kick. Halpin and Yosipides head to head. Maybe something like have a look at the scoreboard was mentioned there to Steve Yosifides. The decision favours the Olympic Sharks. Halpin has a look to see what's on. And Jade North wasn't picked up. Milicic across the face of goal. Jeremy Harris. That has crossed the line. The Sharks extend their lead. Are they on their way? Is the 12-year drought about to break? Well, that, Mike Cockrell, was an absolutely exquisite free kick. There's very few players in this league who could drop a ball from 30 yards onto a man's head like Troy Halpin can. Look at the measure on that free kick. An outstanding. And what about the intelligence there of Ante Milicic as well? Harris finishes the job. We now return to Marconi Stadium for the second half of the Shark South Melbourne Clash where your commentators are Mike Cockrell, Paul Wade and Craig Foster. Drives it in. Bolton is beaten to the punch. Still bobbling around, hasn't been cleared. And eventually helping. Leathers it over the sideline. A few hearts and a few mouths there among the Olympic players. Triboli gets the ball into the middle. Juric clears it up the line. Milicic beaten to the punch. Good spell this for South Melbourne, but the flag is up. Butzianis was offside. Only just. The flag was up early. Well, we briefly touched on the subject, as we just see a replay here, of that offside decision. Yes, yeah, Santo Milicic, top goal scorer for the Sharks this season. And he paid a high price for his services. He has responded, but he has been troubled by injuries, much to his frustration since joining the Sharks. Pondeliak makes room for himself, blazes over the top. Tommy Pondeliak, a third goal you would imagine would kill off the contest. And the Sharks were looking for it there. Ponoliak scored the opening goal. Not getting this one on target. And now South Melbourne will make a change. They need to find a source of inspiration. Ray Sekolovsky goes off and Joe Bachak, the player on for South Melbourne. And if there's one thing this man is going to do, Paul White, he's going to liven things up. He has got blistering pace. He's got pace to burn and up against Lindsay Wilson. You just wonder whether Lindsay will get forward anymore. But the, the issue is, will he go forward? Sometimes in that wide position, you get sucked in like this. Now he's got to de do some defending. Wilson puts the ball into the middle. Here goes Packer. Still Packer. The save came from... 
from Petkovic. Dogged perseverance there from Andy Packer. But Michael Petkovic, that may turn out to be a decisive stop from the goalkeeper. Wilson got the ball in the middle. Packer got the better of Coveney, but not the goalkeeper. Well, there's an important tackle from Batek. Trimboli, danger here for Olympic. Trimboli. Well, the Olympic Sharks, guilty there in their own defensive area. A couple of errors from the Sharks presented the half chance for Trimboli, and that will do his confidence the world of good. Yosefides. Still going, Yosefides. Here's Liparotti. Bacak. It's a ball into the middle. And Jade North. Well, how lucky is that? When those sort of things happen, you know it's going to be your day. He knew nothing about that, Jade North. Stuck out a leg. Could have gone anywhere. Came off his knee. Straight back to his own goalkeeper. What a challenge from Kiss Norbo. McAllister forces it wide. Is Wilson quick enough to get there? Yes, he is. Owens. <laughs> Cola. The Olympic fans now in full voice. They know it's only seconds away. The final whistle. A look at the watch there from Eddie Lenny. South Melbourne, look a beaten side. Lipperotti has pulled one back. Robert Lipperotti. The substitute has grabbed the goal for South Melbourne deep, deep into injury time. And it was the ball that stretched them out wide, Mike. Got in behind them. It's one of the few times they've got to cross into the six-yard box. When you've got tall timber like Lipperotti, you're always going to be a chance. It's just a little bit too late. Well, Olympic just hoping to keep possession now and run down the clock. Here goes Owens. And now Owens. Trying to head towards the corner. That's where Lindsay Wilson wants to go as well. South Melbourne have it back. Olympic have coughed up possession. Here's Madoka. Pondelyak keeping up with him. It's going to be a throw. Three and a half minutes added on by Eddie Lenny. Driven in by Kiss Norbo. Coveney has won it in the air. Yurich appeals for handball. Not given. No penalty. And there is the final whistle. Olympic are through to their first grand final in 12 years. So long, South Melbourne. The Olympic Sharks have now booked a date with Newcastle United for the right to play in the NSL grand final. Honestly, it doesn't matter how, how much of a favourite we were, everyone I think was riding us off and I think South Melbourne had the wrong mentality today. They, they were riding on a wave and they thought that was enough to get them through but we just wanted to prove everybody wrong that, that we can't play football and I think we just closed the door in the first half. We didn't, never really got into gear but I mean they didn't let us, you know, they put us on the back foot but credit to our boys, they keep plugging away and you know, we got something for our efforts near the end but too little too late.